Hey YouTube, Country Boy Prepper here. Today we're going to take a look at the Gemtech Suppressed Bulk Carrier Group for 556. If you've ever thought about suppressing your direct gas impingement AR-15, you're going to want to stick around for this one. So back in 2012 when I first started acquiring parts to build this rifle here, I uh, considered going with a direct gas impingement or a piston system. And I knew eventually one day I wanted to suppress my rifle. And so I seriously considered going with the piston system because it has some advantages when you go suppressed. And uh, the direct gas impingement has a few disadvantages when you suppress it. If you've never shot a direct gas impingement AR-15 suppressed, you, you may not know exactly what I'm talking about. But basically, as you're shooting the rifle, the way the system operates is you have gas that's vented off of the, uh, the barrel right here. Goes into the gas block, goes down a gas tube, and pushes your bolt carrier group to cycle the rifle. And when you put a, a suppressor on the end of that muzzle, you increase all of that pressure and therefore increase the amount of gas and fouling that's being forced back down the gas tube and into your action and it comes out of the action and also kind of gets in your face. It can make your eyes water, it can make your sinuses burn, uh, depending on how fast you're shooting. If you're just shooting, you know, a few shots at a time, maybe a, a bench rest shooting for target practice or or shooting a deer or something like that it's really not that big a deal just a single shot but if you ever dump you know 10 15 rounds in one burst you're definitely going to notice it and it's going to have a, a significant effect on you oh jeez gas getting by so at the time one of the popular remedies for this problem was to go with an adjustable gas block and that's what I ended up deciding to do. I went with a direct gas impingement with an adjustable gas block here and I used a SLR Rifle Works Century 7 adjustable gas block and it wasn't cheap. I don't remember exactly what I paid for it, but I want to say it was in the $150 price range. Uh, that's about $100 more than you're going to pay for a standard quality gas block. So uh, I paid a little bit extra for it, even though at the time I didn't have a suppressor. I knew I wanted to do that in the future, though. And it worked fine at first. When I first set up this rifle, what I basically did was I got some cheap, low-powered, steel-cased ammo, and I set my gas setting to where it would function that cheap low powered ammo and I just kind of left it there and I didn't really think about it. Well fast forward two or three years later I finally get my suppressor and I get out a uh, an allen key and, and you basically have to stick an allen key inside your your handguard right here and there's a tiny tiny little screw or nut actually that you turn and it has clicks and that's how you adjust the gas block. Well when I went to do that, it was stuck. It wouldn't turn at all, uh, and I, I, I tried to be gentle with it, but what I ended up doing was I ended up stripping out that screw or that nut that, that you turn. I mean, it's super, super tiny, so it's, it's very easy to do. And the only thing I can figure is, I mean, I shot several, several thousand rounds from the time that I, I first set the gas block to the time I actually got the suppressor and wanted to change the gas setting. So I was pretty disappointed in that and uh, I mean I've got this gas block uh, drilled and pinned to my barrel now so I'm kind of married to it. Uh, at some point in the future I'll probably end up building uh, another maybe 14 inch upper and uh, with a different hand guard and whatnot. But uh, for the time being I'm just basically going to leave it and treat it as a, as a standard fixed gas block. I'm not even going to worry about taking it off or anything just because it would be such a pain but this gym tech uh, suppressor bolt carrier group is something that's relatively new on the market and it offers I think a better solution to this problem okay so on the outside of the box it says it reduces carrier speed to non suppressed levels reduces recoil reduces blowback increases reliability increases weapon life reduces cyclic rate for full auto 
and uh, in my experience shooting this thing it has done just that and it while it doesn't mention the gas to the face I have noticed that it, it does seem to reduce it it's not gonna eliminate it but it definitely does make a difference and uh, and helps a lot so just take you let you take a look at this real quick if you look right here you'll see there's a little arrow this thing's dirty because I've been shooting it but there's an arrow that's pointing to an S pointing this way and that means it's on the suppress setting right now and if you flip it over to this side you'll see right here there's this little screw flathead screw right here that you can turn uh, from that way to this way and over here it says S right here it says U that's suppressed and unsuppressed right now I've got it on the suppressed setting when you buy this thing it only comes with the bolt carrier it's not going to come with your bolt it's not going to come with your firing pin or uh, gosh I forget what this little thing is called there's a term for it I'll have to annotate it but it doesn't come with this oddly enough it came with the uh, firing pin retaining pin the cotter pin right here that's the only thing it came with uh, at least I've got an extra one sitting here so I'm assuming it came with one I've had this thing for quite a while and shot it a ton I've probably shot well over a thousand rounds through this thing uh, it's basically become uh, the bolt carrier that I just leave in the gun even when I'm not shooting suppressed. If I'm shooting suppressed, I'll flip it over to the suppressed mode. If I'm not shooting suppressed, it functions exactly the same as any other bolt carrier. Now, it doesn't have any kind of special coating on it, I don't think. Well, actually, you know what? This I don't think this is a military coating. It is a little bit slicker. It's definitely not as slick as, uh, as my old bolt, bolt carrier from uh, TR Enabling, but... I'm not sure what that coating is. Maybe I'll look it up and uh, if I can find it, I'll annotate it. Like I said, it just comes with the bolt carrier. And that's one of the things that was a little bit disappointing for me uh, because this thing is not cheap. It's, it's, it's not a cheap part. For what it costs, I think it definitely should include a bolt and uh, you know be a complete bolt carrier. Now, uh, what I'm probably going to do in the future is I'm going to probably pick up the, the firing pin and the... Uh, the other parts that I need, the bolt, I'm probably going to get a uh, Sharps Relia bolt, and I'll put that on this, and I'll, I'll put the TR enabling bolt back with its original carrier and use that for my AR pistol that I'm building right now. So anyway, if you're shooting suppressed, I think this is basically a must. I mean, it it makes a big difference. It really, really does make a really big difference. If you're shooting suppressed with a gas impingement AR-15, I think this is an absolute must uh, for you to get this. It, it really does make a huge difference. It does exactly what it advertises to do. It's not going to completely eliminate the gas, you know, coming out of the, the ejection port. Uh, I can't say you're not going to get zero gas in your face, but it makes it a whole lot better. I mean, even just the felt recoil and the uh, bolt carrier speed, uh, you could definitely feel it. You could definitely tell that it's working. It's uh, very easy to change it. I mean, you just take it out, flip this over. Uh, you could use a screwdriver. I've even used a 223 casing. Just take the head of the case and use that. It's pretty easy to do. When I first got this thing, this thing was really loose and very easy to flip over. You could almost do it with your fingernail. After shooting several, several thousand rounds through it, it's much, much stiffer now. So, you know, that's something to consider. You definitely want to you have something I mean it's the easiest thing to do is just get a, a, a bullet take a bullet you could use that and it works pretty well now one thing I was worried about when I first saw this product is you know I was worried is this thing gonna flip from one setting to another or get stuck halfway in the middle as I'm shooting the gun and if you understand anything about how an AR-15 works and how uh, this bolt rides inside your upper uh, the way that they design this thing that's completely impossible uh, for this thing to turn and, and rotate while it's in the gun. So that's nothing to worry about. It's never happened to me. I've never heard of anybody else having it happen. And just the way that it fits in there, it's physically impossible for it to happen. So don't worry about that at all. Now, Gem Tech calls this thing the GSBC-556, and they say it's specifically for a 5.56 AR-15. But one thing I was curious about is is would I be able to use it with other calibers, uh, say uh, my 300 Blackout upper. So I tried that 
and when I when I put it on the suppress setting and I shot 300 blackout subsonic I couldn't get reliable function either with or without the uh, suppressor on the gun uh, however when I was shooting uh, supersonic 300 blackout it worked perfectly in fact it, it, it actually improved the way the gun operated I thought it actually made a difference and was actually better uh, now I was shooting some hand loads that I'd done up that were pretty hot I don't know if every supersonic you know load out there will work but the ones that I've tested so far worked perfectly and I, and I felt they actually improved the cycling and reduce some of the gas I was getting in my face uh, so I actually appreciated using this even in my 300 blackout so guys if you're looking to suppress your gas impingement AR-15 I highly recommend you check out this product I'll put a link for it in the description below I want to thank Optics Planet for sending me this product to check out and share with you guys I've been very happy with it like I said I've had this thing for a while I put a lot of ammo through it and uh, I feel very confident in it. It's my new go-to bolt carrier. Appreciate you guys watching. Y'all be sure to check out standardmunitions.com. They're my ammo sponsor. They provided the ammo for this review. And I greatly appreciate that. They've got some great deals on ammo. Uh, you can buy it in bulk. You can also do a monthly subscription where they'll send you ammo in the mail automatically every month. Uh, so be sure to check that out. It's a great service. It's a veteran-owned company. I really appreciate them supporting my channel. Also, be sure to check out my Patreon page if you want to support the channel. That's a great way to do it as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Y'all have a great day.